What's up, everybody? My name is Dell. This is Dell on Movies. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you've been here before, thanks for hanging out with me again. So today is November 17th. At least that's the day that I am publishing in this. And if you watch it on that day, it is the birthday of one Martin Scorsese. Now, before I get into what we're going to talk about with Mr. Scorsese, I'm also going to say that November 17th happens to be the birthday of my own sister. So I will say a big happy birthday to her. And I hope you have a great day today, and I'm sure I'll be talking to you. Now, let's uh, let's get into Mr. Scorsese here. So, he is a director who I have a lot of respect for, a ton of respect for. Some of his movies are, are among my all-time favorite movies. And I'm just going to run down all those Scorsese movies that I have in my collection. Uh, I'm not going to rank them in no particular order, So uh, except for the last movie I'll talk about. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it. So... The first couple of movies, I'm just going to show really quickly. I, I have them, but I haven't watched them yet. I've not seen these first couple movies. That is The King of Comedy, which eh, I've heard a lot of great things about. Uh, so I do need to give that one a look. And the next one is The Color of Money, which is the sequel to uh, The Hustler, which I have. I've seen The Hustler. Hustler is a great movie, but I have not seen The Color of Money. So I need to check those out and I'm going to I'm going to make myself a deal if I'm still doing this YouTube stuff next year. I'm going to definitely watch those two movies and hopefully get a few more Scorsese movies under my belt and maybe I'll come back and do a top 10 uh, of Scorsese. Uh, this next movie is not one that he actually directed, but he just he, he lends his voice talents to and that is Shark Tale. And there is a fish in the movie. Let's see if I can get him on the camera. He is right here. And let's see if I can get him up there. He, This character is voiced by Martin Scorsese. And you can tell that it's supposed to be him because of the really, really thick eyebrows. Uh, and Charlie Tell's a fun movie. It's not my favorite, one of my favorite movies of all time. Not one of my favorite animated movies even, but it's a fun time. All right, the other movies, uh, I've all, I've seen the rest of these. I'm going to try to go through these uh, fairly quickly. I'm not going to keep you guys all day. Um, mean Streets is one I've only seen once, though. I, I saw this once maybe 10 years ago, maybe 15 years ago even. So I remember liking it, but I, I need to return to it to be able to really... Uh, talk about the movie um the next movie i've only seen once also but i've it's been a lot more recently that i saw this movie and that one is hugo and hugo i think is underrated and it's one of the it's well probably the only family friendly scorsese movie i've seen um it it definitely is a love letter to filmmaking if you've never seen it and that's pretty much what it is i mean there's a whole other plot to it but it is definitely a love letter to filmmaking uh the next movie is one of my favorite sports movies of all time uh definitely my favorite boxing movie of all time and that is raging bull and for my criterion fans because i know this is criterion month it's november the big sales going on if you don't have Raging Bull and you're a Scorsese fan, definitely run out and get it. This is the 4K version that came out last summer or earlier this summer. I can't remember, but uh, I haven't watched this version yet. I've seen the movie several times, but I haven't watched this edition yet. So I do need to get on that. But Robert De Niro is great. Joe Pesci is great. The whole cast is great. Um, moving to the next one, back with Robert De Niro again. And this is probably De Niro's most iconic performance. Uh, probably one of Scorsese's best movies. Also, definitely one of Scorsese's best movies. One of the best movies of all time. And that is Taxi Driver. It is highly, highly influential. Uh, a lot of what they did a few years ago in Joker was inspired by Taxi Driver. Uh, so definitely check it out if you've never seen that movie. Uh, next movie is uh, starring Scorsese's other muse, Leonardo DiCaprio, and that movie is Gangs of New York. So Gangs of New York uh, is uh, set in the 19th century, I believe, 19th century New York, and it's overrun by gangs. 
And it's really this guy, Bill the Butcher, played by Daniel Day Lewis, that steals the show. So it's a it's a fantastic movie and a great performance and a great performance by uh, Daniel Day Lewis. The next movie is Casino. This was the follow up to a really I, I, well, not the follow up, but kind of people kind of think of it as a spiritual sequel to another Scorsese movie. We'll get to in a few minutes in a little bit. Um this time we got uh, De Niro back again, Joe Pesci back again. We see Sharon Stone down here, and their mobs is just running things in in Las Vegas in the early days of Las Vegas. And yeah, things don't always go to a right, and Joe Pesci is again unhinged in <laughs> in his role, and is a is a fantastic movie. This next movie, I thought it was the best movie of the year that it came out. Well, definitely top three. I'm, I'm going to have to go back and revisit that. But it was just a few years ago. And this is Leonardo DiCaprio again. And it is The Wolf of Wall Street. It is insane the things that happens in this movie. Definitely the, based on the true story. The Jordan Belfort uh, story. The guy was just a, a Wall Street con man. And uh, he got he, he went to jail a few at, at the end of the year, at the end of the uh, a few years ago. But anyway, the movie is um, the movie's crazy. Some people don't like it because they think that it glorifies what Jordan Belfort did. And I can definitely see that angle. I don't think it quite does that, but really shines a light on what he did. And um any way you slice it, DiCaprio, Jonah Hill are both just amazing in this movie. The cameo by Matthew McConaughey, not oh, it's a little more than a cameo, but Matthew McConaughey is, is great. Rob Reiner is, is really good. So uh, if you would just want to see one of the most insane things you've ever, uh, check out The Wolf of Wall Street. The last movie I'm going to talk about actually shares a lot of story beats is with uh, The Wolf of Wall Street. And I came across something online that kind of showed there are a lot of similarities in the movies that, but they're not exactly the same and for me this is one of my all-time favorite movies and that is Goodfellas and uh, it, it's also based on the true story uh, Henry Hill and that's played by Ray Liotta right here that guy's played by Ray Liotta Henry Hill is a is a mobster, and we go through his whole life pretty much up until the where the movie ends, and um, he's just growing up around it, and that's really all he wants to do. And his two best friends are played by De Niro and Joe Pesci, and yeah, again, Joe Pesci just steals every scene that he's in, and the things he does are just just. They're, they're sickening, but you're kind of drawn to it, so you, you can't turn away from it. So it, it's just, uh, like I said, it's one of my all-time favorite movies, and I can't get enough of this movie, so I'll be definitely watching this one again soon. Goodfellas, one of my all-time favorite movies. Scorsese, one of my all-time favorite directors. So, yeah, I'm giving myself some homework, and I've got 365 days to figure it out, watch some more Scorsese movies, and come back with a ranking next year. Uh let me know what are some of your favorite Scorsese movies or what do you have in your collection or what are you looking to pick up? Because I don't have, as you notice, other than Raging Bull, I don't have anything that he has in the Criterion collection. And I'm going to be honest, I probably won't get The Irishman because I didn't really like that movie. But that's a topic for another day. If you like videos like this, go ahead and check out this playlist where I have uh, more videos where we talk about just individual actors and directors and uh, let me know how you like those but that's all i have for you on this one guys i catch you on the next one bye